Hi TCC members, Jill Stewart here. I'm a group exercise instructor and a new personal trainer at the club. And today I'm excited to share a little something with you that's new that I have learned uh, using massage therapy balls. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and work on our feet in this short video segment. Um, if you have one of these uh, rub rubber balls, it's a yoga therapy massage ball. It's preferable to use those. This one is um, from the role model method. Really, really great. If you don't, however, which most of you probably don't, um, you can go ahead and use a tennis ball. It will work somewhat. Not as great as these balls, but um, it'll uh, help you to know the exercises that you need to do in order to help those little aches and pains um, that happen with your feet and help you feel a little more invigorated. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started first by checking in with our body, seeing how we feel, and then we'll kind of check in again halfway through and then again at the end to see if we can tell a difference. We'll be breaking up some of that fascia, um, rolling around with these uh, that will help us to let go of those uh, aches and pains that we have. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm gonna back it up. It's also preferable if you have a chair or a wall maybe that you can put nearby so that you can um, have your balance. So hopefully you can see my feet. What we're gonna do, um, well first we're gonna check in. So we're gonna put the ball down on the ground and what I want you to do is just to hang down upside down like so. Just let your body hang and see how you're feeling. How do your feet feel? How do your hamstrings feel? Are they tight back there? Because everything is connected. We have fascia that connects from the bottoms of our feet all the way up, the back of our legs, and really all the way up to our head. So take note of how you feel and slowly come up. All right. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab your tennis ball or your massage therapy ball. And we're gonna take it and put it right in the middle of the arch of the bottom of the foot. So hopefully you can see this. I'm gonna put it down there. We're gonna put it in the middle of the arch of the foot. And first thing we're gonna do is just step on it and just hold it. And take a deep breath in and let it out. Take another deep breath in and let it out. And just let that foot fall over the top of the ball, just releasing. You might feel a little bit of a hot spot there. Okay, now what we're gonna do is take the foot and we're gonna roll it side to side. Just trying to invert and evert the ankle, side to side. I can show you this way as well, in case you're wondering what it is I'm doing. Rolling that ball side to side. Maybe 10 or 12 times. Just trying to get some mobility in the ankle. And really trying to keep the back heel down is preferable. You might have to make a little bit of readjustment if it likes to move around on you. Okay, and when you're done with that, we're gonna take that ball and we're gonna put it right in the ball of our foot and step on it. Heel is down to the floor and it's right under the ball of the foot. And we're just gonna pin it down there for now. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Another deep breath in and let it out. And then doing the same thing we did before, we're gonna roll a foot from side to side, across the bottom of the ball of the foot. And we'll do that 10 to 12 times. If you need to readjust, readjust. We want our posture to be a natural spine. Natural spine alignment while we stand here. All right. Then we're gonna move that ball back to the heel. 
and put it directly under the heel of the foot. And we're going to step on that, putting the toes down to the ground. Put some weight on that and breathe in. And let it out. Breathe in. And let it out. And then let's move that ball around the heel of our foot. And even take it to the back, lifting up the toes. Whatever feels good to you. If it doesn't feel good to you, if it really hurts, you can always take some of the pressure up off of the ball. And if it hurts when you stop, then you know that you've done too much. Now we're going to take that ball back again up to our toes, putting our heel down to the ground. We're going to take our toes and grip that ball as tight as you can. Hold it and then stretch out those toes as wide as you can. Okay, let's do that again. Grip and straighten. Grip. And straighten. Okay, we're gonna grip one more time, and this time we're gonna lift our big toe. Only our big toe. Keep the other ones gripping, and then lower the big toe. We'll lift the big toe up, and then lower it. And you should be breathing the whole time you're doing this. Don't stop breathing. We don't want to stop breathing. And grip it, and toe up and grip it. All right, and then let that go. All right, this is my favorite part. We're gonna take that ball and we're gonna strip it all along, up and down the bottom of our foot, that fascia. This feels so good on my feet. We're gonna start on the inside part of the foot. Can you see that, the inside? Along the inside, up to the big toe and back. Keep breathing and moving that up and down your foot. And then we're gonna move it to the second toe. Oh, I can feel a little hot spot there on me. We're just kind of loosening everything up. If you need to readjust your ball, readjust it. And then we're gonna keep stripping all the way down to the third toe, from the heel all the way down to the third toe. And then let's take it to the fourth toe. If you find yourself holding your breath, then maybe you need to back off a little bit if it's hard to breathe while you're doing something. All right, and then let's strip it all along the side where the little toe is. Hopefully you're already feeling that heat, feeling a little bit uh, of action in that foot. All right. And then the last thing we're gonna do is just step on it again with it in the arch. And we're gonna take our other foot, this is where the chair really comes in handy. And we're gonna take our other foot and we're just gonna loosen up the top of the foot. Just use one foot rubbing the top just to fire it up right there. Warm it up, loosen it up. All right, let's take that ball out from under our foot and let's just stand there for a minute. Can you feel the difference in your feet? Does one feel a little more alive, tingly, maybe better? Okay, let's hang all the way down. Just let it hang and see if you notice a difference maybe in the back of the leg, maybe you don't. But maybe you do. And just see how that feels. And then slowly roll it up. And let's do the other side. Okay, so we're going over to the other foot. First thing is to take that ball and put it right in the arch, right in the middle of the arch. With the heel on the ground 
and just the rest of your foot, just it can just curl over the top of it. Right there. Lots of pressure on there. And breathe in. And breathe out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. All right, and then we're gonna take it and roll that ankle side to side. 10 to 12 times. Continuing to breathe. This foot feels different from my other foot. It's a little more tender. It probably needs this a little more than the other one. Alright, now we're going to take it and move it up to the ball of the foot. Let's just put it smack dab in the middle of the ball of the foot. Step down on it. Just let that foot go. Put some pressure. Deep breath in. And let it out. Deep breath in. And let it out. And let's take it side to side. And I hope you can see what I'm doing here with my foot. Rolling it side to side, right across the foot, ball of the foot. Waking it up, loosening up that fascia. Ten to twelve times. All right, and then we're gonna take that ball again back to the heel, right on the heel. And we're gonna step down right on it, put some pressure on that ball and breathe in and let it out. Breathing in and let it out. And then we're gonna move it side to side. Trying to keep some good pressure on that so we can feel it. You can roll it around a little bit. Rolling it on the edges, whatever feels nice to you. All right, and then we're gonna take that ball and go back up to our toes again, right under our toes. And we're going to grip the ball with our toes and let it up. Grip the ball and let it up. Grip it and let it up. And one more time, we're going to grip and just let our big toe up. This is kind of hard. And then put the big toe down and let the big toe up again. Try and keep those other toes on the ball. And big toe down and big toe up again. All right, great. Okay, so now, again, my favorite part, stripping the bottom of the foot. So we're gonna take that ball and we're gonna take it from the heel all the way up to the big toe, rolling mm, that arch, that inside part of the foot. And then take it to the second toe. If you have plantar fasciitis, this is a great exercise to do. I've had that before, it's very painful. Now we're going to the third toe. The fourth toe, again, you can put as much pressure, I have to straighten up my, there we go, to re reposition that. You can um, use as much pressure as you feel you can handle. All right, great job. Okay, now we're gonna take that ball and we're gonna put it under the ball, under the arch of our foot again, closer up to the ball of the foot. And we're gonna take the other foot, hanging onto the chair, 
and we're going to wake up the top of the foot. The bottom is definitely awake. feels tingly, feels pretty alive. Okay, we're gonna do one last check-in and see if you notice anything affecting the back of your legs from rolling your feet. Let's take it all the way down. And you can feel free to bend the knees a little bit on here. Maybe you can go down a little bit further than you did before after rolling the feet. I think I'm down just a little bit further. All right, do you feel a difference? Let's slowly roll up. Let's take a stop right here in mountain pose. Just close the eyes, concentrate on the feet. Do they feel any different? All right. Well, hopefully they do. And hopefully you enjoyed those exercises and you feel a little bit of foot relief from those. These are exercises you can do on your own, anytime. Thanks for joining me. Bye.